On Wednesday in physics, we'll be doing the refraction lab. When we talk about how light refracts, we're talking about how light bends. So the physics word for bending of light is just refraction. We talked about reflection. Now we'll discuss refraction. And the equipment that we're going to use for this um, consists of something very simple. So we've got polar graph paper, which you can see in front of you. That's going to be what we use to measure angles. Instead of a protractor, the polar graph paper will work very nicely. Then we're going to take a dish like this, and we'll fill that with water, and we'll also use a plastic dish. It looks like this. Now the first thing you need to do is align your dish or your piece of plastic right in the middle of the polar graph paper. And when you look at each dish, you'll notice there's a scratch on the dish right in the middle. There's one on that, and you can see it a little bit easier, the scratch on the plastic dish that has water going into that. That scratch needs to go right in the center of the polar graph paper. You'll probably have to get down, bend down and actually see if the scratch lines up. So I've got it lined up there. Then you're going to take the laser levels that we've used before in class and you shine this light through them. Now we're going to use the laser to help us. Of course this works with all light but the laser is a little bit easier to see. Whenever you're using your laser on this lab, you need to shine it in the flat part, not the curved part, and you need to aim it right towards that scratch. That's the whole purpose of having the scratch. So I can aim it here or here. You're going to do this for a variety of angles, and each time you're going to aim it right towards the scratch. It should look something like that each time. You'll do it with the plastic piece, and then you'll do it with the water. It doesn't matter if you do plastic or water first, just make sure that you do both, and it's the same process for both. You're going to collect the data, you're going to make some graphs just like we did in first semester. When you're finished with that, you'll take away the laser level, and you're going to put some cardboard underneath your polar graph paper. Then replace your dish or your piece of plastic and again make the scratch line up right in the center of the polar graph paper. Now in this part of the lab I want you to see if this works with real light. My fear is that you think this only works with laser light when in fact it works with all kinds of light, even invisible light. So the procedure on this is you're going to place your, your dish the way that you had it before, take a pin and put it uh, oh, somewhere on this line. Anywhere is fine. And then I want you to look, actually bend down and look where you can see this pin through the plastic. Now I can't demonstrate that here, but uh, one of my good friends, Mr. Albert Einstein, will. So he would go over here and he'd look along here until he saw the pin. So maybe he sees the pin right here and it lines up with the other pin that he already placed down. Take your new pin, put it wherever your eye sees them lining up, and then you're going to verify what you found before. That's pretty much the lab. The second part is a little bit more difficult than the first, but uh, it shouldn't be too difficult overall to do this. By the way, my favorite color is green.